Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to another tutorial with our little gingerbread man. We have modeled, UV mapped, textured, rigged, and animated. Now it's time to start rendering. If you are new to this channel, I post tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity. Open up that software and let's go ahead and render the little gingerbread man. So in this video tutorial, we are going to go over how to create cameras, how to turn on depth of field. We can also use motion blur and just basically get our cameras ready for rendering. It's a jam packed tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's make a close up. Let's grab the perspective camera and let's get a quick little render of him running for it. And I could talk about depth of field and things like that to blur the background because this is pretty distracting compared to the focus should be here. Um, if I wanted to do that, I can always just grab the, actually, I'm not gonna play around with the perspective camera. Let's make a regular camera. Again, don't forget to turn on the resolution gate. Whoa. Something like that. And I'm gonna grab the attributes of my camera and I am going to change the focal length to maybe something a little smaller, like 30. So you really, it's gonna look large and everything else is gonna be pulled back. And then I'm gonna scroll down to depth of field. Actually, I need to go to Arnold because we're rendering through Arnold. Let's see, let's go to enable depth of field. Let's bring this up to one. Let's go to our render settings. We also wanna enable motion blur. That's also very important. Let's see what we get. Wow, let's change the focal distance here. <laughs> we want the focus to be on the little gingerbread man. Let's see if we can get it. There he is. Let's find out the distance. So you wanna to go to display, heads up display, and you can go to object details. And since I have this selected, it will tell me that it's about, it's 14.2 or 14.3 distance from the camera. This one is, which I can't select, but if I undid that, the environment geo, you'll see that this one's 62. So that's very helpful. Uh, let's say 20. So let's go back to the camera. Let's open up the attributes and our focus distance is 20. All right, and you can see that now that it's the little gingerbread man's pretty clear and the background is fading away. So let's go ahead and render it out. You can increase the blurriness by increasing the aperture size. So if you want to make it really blurry, the background, you can increase the aperture size. So it's totally up to you. I think 0.3 is, you know, I still wanna see some detail, maybe 0.4 but I want to make sure the focus is on the little gingerbread man. All right, that was a little extra information. There is definitely areas to improve, but we'll talk about rendering each camera and how to make an animation in the next video tutorial. So if you learned a thing or two, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this content and that you wanna see more. It also helps me out with YouTube's logarithm. Please share these videos if you feel like this would be helpful for some for another animator out there or someone that wants to learn how to do the whole pipeline from modeling to rigging to animating all the way to rendering, which is going to be next. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free downloads such as reference images, 
3D models, eBooks, and so much more. And also take a look at my e-courses. That is another way you can support me by purchasing an e-course or two. That would be amazing. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating and I will see you next time when we render out these shots and make a little movie.